Simple, versatile and easy to cook. Just takes a few minutes. Nutritious, staple and loved by many across the world. You may not like the way it smells, but its impeccable taste will leave you wanting more. A non-vegetarian classic, swimming around for millions of years on this planet. Fish, a true seafood delight. Welcome. You're listening to Tal Radio powered by Touch Your Life Foundation and this is Foodology. I'm radio host Devansh and on this show I talk about the enormous world of a little word called food. Fish, a timeless classic that has been a staple food for humans for thousands of years. Every country, every cuisine and every region has its own fish speciality, whether fresh water or salt water. There is something so comforting about a hot fish dish adorning your tables while there's negative temperatures outside or perhaps a moment sitting by the beach in summers and savoring the fresh flavors of sea while the cool breeze chills you out from the hot weather These days there are so many varieties of fishes available throughout the world but did you know that these dishes have been consumed for thousands of years Of course, fish is a versatile ingredient that can be cooked in a variety of ways. Grilled, roasted, baked, or fried, you name it. It's used in a wide range of dishes, from soups and stews to salads and sandwiches. Fish can be seasoned with a variety of herbs and spices, making it a delicious and flavorful food choice. The versatility of this ingredient as a whole means that it can be incorporated into many different cuisines making it a staple food around the world did you know that fishes are as old as life on this planet itself in today's episode we will be diving into the delicious world of this subcategory of seafood to understand fishes in depth let me share with you the history of fishes on our planet and how they evolved into what we know them as today and what prompted ancient humans to hunt and eat them fishes are some of the earliest and most diverse forms of life they first appeared more than 500 million years ago and have since evolved into a wide variety of species the early fishes in those times were jawless and had a simple eel like elongated body structure Over time, they evolved into different species of bony fishes, fishes with fins, fishes with jaws which allowed them to hunt and feed more effectively. Over time, bones and other features started to develop. These bony fishes later evolved into fishes with jaws, which first appeared around 380 million years ago. Cartilaginous fish like sharks, rays, skates evolved and first appeared around 400 million years ago interesting right all of these fishes kept on evolving and they were characterized by their cartilaginous structure which is more flexible and lighter than bony structures this adaptation and evolution allowed these cartilaginous fishes to become some of the fastest and the most efficient hunters in the ocean Today there are over 32000 species of fishes ranging from small colorful reef fishes to massive whales and everything in between It's also important to note that fishes have adopted to a wide variety of environments from freshwater lakes and rivers to deep sea trenches and they play their crucial roles in the ocean and freshwater ecosystems and obviously they are a major source of food for humans and other predators making them a key species in many food chains Fishes have been an important part of human diets for thousands of years and have played a crucial role in shaping cultural, economic and social aspects of many civilizations including the ancient and the medieval world. Early humans most likely harvested fish from rivers and oceans using simple fishing tools like spears and nets. 
They also dried and preserved fish for later consumption, making it an important food source for times when hunting was less successful. In ancient Greece and Rome, fish was a staple food and an important symbol of wealth and prosperity. The Greeks were known for their love of seafood and ate a variety of fish, and it was a central element in a lot of religious celebrations and feasts. A similar role was played by fishers in the ancient Chinese civilizations. The Chinese valued fish for its nutritional values and also believed that it had medicinal properties. Fish was often prepared in a variety of ways, including steamed, boiled, fried, and pickled. In ancient Egypt, fish was a staple food for the wealthy and for the workers building the pyramids. Nile perch, tilapia and catfish were among the most commonly consumed fish varieties and they were often dried or salted for preservation. In fact, you will also find fishes depicted in ancient Egyptian art and they were associated with the god Horus, who was often depicted with a fish head or holding a fish. In ancient Mesopotamia, fish was often caught in the Tigris and the Euphrates river. It was often dried or salted and for use to make a sauce for meat dishes. A fun fact is that fish was also used as a currency and a symbol of wealth, with fish-shaped jewelry and other decorative items being popular in those times. As time moved on and the medieval era came, fishes became a staple food in a lot of European nations especially those near the coasts. It was an inexpensive and readily available source of protein, making it an essential part of the medieval diet. For those living in rural areas, freshwater fish such as carp and eel were often caught from rivers and lakes, while those living near the coast relied on saltwater fishes like herring, cod and salmon. In fact, many towns and villages in those times relied on fishing as their primary source of livelihood. Large-scale commercial fishing was carried out in those times. And a sturdy wooden ship called Cog was used for fishing. Although it was a dangerous profession, as storms and rough seas could pose threat to the lives of fishermen. But despite these risks, fishing was a lucrative business. Hence, the people continued. In those times, fishes were often served as a main dish, with popular recipes including grilled or fried fish, fish pies, and stews. Many sauces were also made using fishes. And not just food dishes, fishes also held symbolic significance in the medieval times, especially in Christian cultures. From its role as a staple food, to its symbolism and cultural significance, fish has definitely left an indelible mark on our history. As time moved on, commercial fishing became extremely popular and important because human populations grew and expanded their territories. With the advent of new fishing technologies like nets, trawls, fishing fleets were able to harvest larger quantities of fish and expand into deeper waters. This led to the growth of fishing villages and the development of a global fishing industry. Fish has been an important ingredient in cuisines around the world for centuries, obviously. For example, in Japan, fish is a staple food and is used in many dishes like sushi, sashimi, and tempura. In Mediterranean cuisines, such as Greek and Italian, fishes are often grilled or baked and they are served with vegetables and herbs. In Asia, fish is cooked in spicy sauces and gravies, and it is a staple in many countries including Thailand and Indonesia. In African countries such as Senegal and Ghana, fish is often used in stews and soups and is a staple food for many coastal communities. There is so much more to talk about. First, let's talk about some of the most popular fish varieties that are enjoyed by people all around the globe, no matter which country they belong from. 
First on our list is salmon. Salmon is one of the most popular fishes around the world. It is a type of oily fish that is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, and minerals. Salmon is versatile and can be cooked in many different ways. They can be found in both Atlantic and Pacific oceans, and they are widely farmed for commercial purposes. It is often served grilled, roasted, or smoked, and is a popular ingredient in many dishes, including sushi, salads, and pasta dishes. Tuna Tuna is another popular fish that is enjoyed by people all over the world. It is rich in omega-3 fatty acids and is also used in a lot of dishes. Tuna is also a popular ingredient in dishes such as tuna salad or they are also available in the form of canned tuna as a form of convenience for busy lifestyles. Cod Cod is a popular white fish that is mildly flavored and is often used in dishes like fish and chips and cod cakes. It is a popular ingredient in soups and stews and is often used in Mediterranean and European cuisines. Tilapia Tilapia is a popular freshwater fish which is used in dishes such as grilled or baked tilapia and is a staple food in many African and South American countries. Sardines Sardines are small, oily fish that are found in the Mediterranean and Atlantic Oceans. They are used in soups, stews, salads and whatnot. They can be grilled, baked and they also come in canned forms and are usually a convenience or a healthy snack food. They are popular in countries like Portugal, Greece and Spain. This list could go on and on. As fishes are a staple food enjoyed by people of the globe. You can choose from so many varieties of fishes in your local markets. But we have to ensure that by choosing to consume sustainably sourced fish, we can ensure that we can continue to enjoy the nutritious and delicious food for many years to come. It's very obvious that fishes offer tremendous benefits for your health. By incorporating fishes into your diet, you can help to promote your heart health, bone health, brain health and whatnot. Let's talk about it. First things first, fish is a great source of protein, which is essential for building and repairing tissues in the body. Protein is also important for maintaining a healthy immune system and promoting healthy hair, skin and nails. Fish is a lean protein source which means that it is low in fat and calories, making it a great option for those who are trying to maintain a healthy weight. Fish is also a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are essential for heart health. Omega-3 fatty acids help to reduce inflammation in the body and may help to lower the risk of heart diseases, stroke and other health conditions. Fishes such as salmon, Mackerel and sardines are particularly rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Vitamin D is abundant in fishes, which is important for bone health. Vitamin D helps the body to absorb calcium, which is essential for building and maintaining strong bones. Fish is one of the few food sources with vitamin D. And many types of fishes like salmon and tuna are high in this nutrient. Selenium is an important trace element that is involved in many important body functions and fishes are abundant in those too. Selenium is important for your thyroid function and helps to protect the cells from damage. Fishes like halibut and cod are rich in selenium. Fishes are also beneficial for your brain health. The omega-3 fatty acids found in fish have been shown to promote brain health and improve cognitive function. While the consumption of fish has many benefits, it's important, just like I've told you, to consider the impacts of fishing on our oceans and marine ecosystems. Overfishing, pollution and climate change are all major threats to the health of our oceans and ultimately our own health. It's crucial more than ever that we adopt sustainable fishing practices to ensure long-term health of the fish populations. Today the demand of fish 
as food continues to grow and the fishing industry is facing increasing pressure to become more sustainable overfishing bycatch habitat destruction are all major challenges that threaten the health of the ocean sea ecosystem and the livelihoods of the fishing communities overfishing is one of the biggest challenges faced by the fishing industry it occurs when too many fishes are caught from the ocean which can lead to the depletion of fish populations and the destruction of marine ecosystem consumers and the fishing industry are working together to find ways to sustainably manage fish populations and promote responsible fishing practices now i've mentioned this term sustainably sourced fish but what exactly is this well sustainably sourced fish is the fish caught or farmed in a way that minimizes the impact on the environment and ensures that the fish populations remain healthy for the future generations aquaculture or fish farming is an important aspect of sustainably sourced fish when fishes are farmed in an environmentally sustainable manner they can provide a source of protein that is not only delicious but also good for the planet sustainable fish farming practices include using low impact feeding practices reducing the use of chemicals and protecting the local ecosystems one way to ensure that you are purchasing sustainably sourced fish is to look for certified seafood there are several organizations like the marine stewardship council and the aqua culture stewardship council that provide certification for sustainable seafood when you purchase certified seafood you can be confident that the fish was caught or farmed in an environmentally responsible manner another way to ensure that you are purchasing sustainably sourced fish is to look for local options by purchasing fish from local fishermen or fish markets you can help to support the sustainable fishing practices and reduce the carbon footprint associated with shipping fishes from far off locations Finally it is very important for consumers to be aware of the impact of their food choices on the environment by choosing sustainably sourced fish you can protect the health of our marine ecosystems and ensure that there are plenty of fish in the sea for the future generations without harming the environment thank you so much for sticking around with me on this episode of foodology i had an incredible time talking to you This is Radio Host Devansh signing off. Hope you have a beautiful and a magical day ahead. See you soon.